Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore. Hardest difficulty, one save, and you cannot fail a single mission or the run will be over. Today we are looking at a planning session. A mission with incredibly nice rewards. 45 Valerium, 30 Intel and 40 supplies. Just what we need. And look at that. We got the swag. Two um, epic weapons right there. And we are well equipped, if I may say so. So of course we can still get more and more, um, more and more equipment items. But even though we haven't spent a lot of um, a lot of funds into equipment whatsoever, you can see that it gradually uh, just accumulates over time, and uh, we actually have a decent equipment now. So two projected encounters uh, will be on the current mission. Let's jump right into it. Best part about the mission is after the mission, and there are a lot of um, upgrades. Uh, we will have a training um, ready, we'll have um, a research ready, and we'll get a covert ops mission. So there should be a lot of uh, base progress afterwards as well. Jumping to uh, the actual mission. That contraband is under heavy guard. Time for a nice little breach. Oh, we don't want to be marked. Uh, ouch, we can't prevent that. Plus 25 uh, defense, plus 25 aim, and successful stuns. Well, I guess... We would be needing another a fourth person up here. So the defense can be incredibly useful for shelter. Who, by the way, goes in last? The aim during the breach. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's take blue blood here, and if anyone needs to be marked, then uh, let's let it be our tank. Time to breach. A strange set of random um, of random uh, bonuses. So we surprised everyone. That's great. Got a trooper. Got a legionnaire. Got another trooper, and got a bruiser. You know, I mean, just from how I feel, I actually want to get the troopers down. They deal a lot of damage. They are nasty. I don't like them. Let's set them up for... Failure. So this guy is stunned, and this guy here will be downed. It's a different picture over here. We got two more vipers, an adder, and a python. Uh, we're definitely going for the python first. The trooper is stunned, so might as well go for the python. Stop the hostage taker. Well, okay, we can do that. Let's take out the bruiser. Only stunned for one round, unfortunately. But we can very much deal with the trooper. Got to deal with both of these guys over here, though. Bracketing target. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to rack up some hits. Oh, wow, lightning hit 
Wow, Lightning Hands only has a three turn score. Are you kidding me? Wow, this weapon is insane. How insane is that? Okay, let me see. It might look like a bit of a crazy move, but we're going into the open, okay? Well, lightning hands just to soften him up. And now we're face lancing. And this is going to be the great finale. Nope, we're definitely not uh, interested in hitting a friendly unit. Well, let's do it this way. There we go. Nice. Good, we're pushing him further to the back. There is no disadvantage in doing that. I was hoping that I could get a better angle on the adder here. Yep, I can. And this might even take uh, the adder out completely. Not fully. She has too much of... Um, too much dodge, unfortunately. But Shiro can heal himself. Not a perfect solution. He could use a self-heal, to be honest. Uh, that would be nice. I would maybe make the character a bit too strong overall. I made the arrest. Bruiser is almost down. Okay, the damage profile of our team is superb. And wouldn't have it been for uh, Cherub being marked, I think we would have been even better off. Last unit through this entrance automatically overwatches, and that is okay. Cherub is going in first. I would like to let Shelter overwatch uh, this turn because we're going to pull up the action of Blue Blood. I want to eliminate the enemies as soon as possible. Good. What are we dealing with? Lots of enemies. I love it. Let's power up our shield. Oh shit. Oh, that was the wrong button. My bad. Totally my bad. I wanted to use Phalanx and messed it up. So might as well take out the Trooper and mix up the Necromancer. This might even take him out completely. Very nice. Okay. That's two, three, four, five enemies. Chirrup takes his own kinetic shield uh, this time. Uh, he pulls up blue blood.
And let's take a look. I mean, the legionnaire could be set up, the trooper could be set up, adder could be set up. I think the legionnaire is a decent target. Putting him out. Well, that means less enemies left over. Uh, the trooper is one option, but I think we're going for the adder. That's unfortunately a miss, but at least we remove the cover. Okay, so who would be next? The adder. And the trooper. Let's take out the trooper first. It's only, unfortunately, only one um, turn. Show them how you feel. We're expanding our neural network to passively heal and to deal damage. She has an elevated position and flanks everyone, so that could have easily been a crit, by the way. Nice little overwatch. Unfortunately, she perishes from the network. We're missing Trank Rounds and Shelter's Weapon. Let's position the Bomber further back. Yeah, you know, I would want to get back into cover again, so... Although that's just dealing two points of damage, we're still in cover, which is good. Um, cheer up has his shield, Birch is going to be fine. Let's help. Blue blood here. Doesn't necessarily need the aim, but still. Ninety percent chance to hit him, that's good enough. And look at that, we got our We got our lightning hands ready again. I'm almost inclined to go over here. You know what, I'm going to do that. We do have a shield. Just because it is so imbalanced. Look at that. We're, pro uh, we're prepping him. And face lancing. With the escalation, the bruiser will die as well. Crazy. There we go. Solid damage. And we're regenerating. Shot directly into the shield. By the way, we need to get over there. And I see that reinforcements are coming in. My bad. Should have reacted faster to that. Getting closer over here. And essentially moving all the way to take the target. Double 
whole time. Okay, so let's put a shield on blue blood. I want to leave the trooper where he is, surprisingly enough, because you will see we're going to need him a bit later. So let's continue with the Legionnaire. Another unconscious target, perfect. And prepping him to get down as well. We're standing in the open, but we do have a shield, so not totally afraid about it. Taking out the bruiser. And we do have pretty decent odds to get the trooper down. Yep. Keep in mind there will be more reinforcements coming in. And we don't have a healer so we really need to make up our mind on how to deal with it. The only reason why the trooper is here by the way is to kind of lift the little secret. I wanted a clever way out once we have acquired this here. And instead of running all the way over there, what would be more convenient than switching with a trooper? Okay, so, gotta give Shelter here a kinetic shield. Flash going out. Free, a free flashbang. Disorienting everyone. And then it's a matter of moving out. So that would not be a kill, but that here would be a kill. Just reducing the numbers of shots that we would be taking. Let's take out the bruiser. Unfortunately, just stunned for one round. It's hoping for more. Shelter should be fine. They are disoriented. And he has a kinetic shield, so only two more shots. He should definitely survive that, unless both are crits for whatever reason. Yeah, even if the other one crits, well, you never know. Okay, 
That worked like a charm. Best I move. And let's move out. Couldn't kill anyone, so might as well just extract. We got eight enemies captured, so that earns us 20 until for sure. Perfect, look at that. 45 Elarium, 30 Intel, um, another 20 Intel. So 45 Elarium, 50 Intel, 40 credits, unrest reduction, and 65 for the rescued hostage. Okay, 45 Elarium, 50 Intel, 105 credits, and unrest reduction. Now that is indeed a pretty successful mission. The of Grey Phoenix leadership is what keeps their people loyal. Disrupt their chain of command. Without leaders, their lower ranks will be more willing to talk. Holy moly, look at our resources. As Muton protesters arrived with what appeared to be clubs, Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League bristled at the suggestion. These are tools for fixing starships. They're spiritual implements. Not weapons. A leaked video from Earth Above All seemed to urge escalation. If they swing at you, it's their ticket back to prison. Wear thick padding, provoke verbally, and make sure it's on camera. More as it develops. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. Mastercrafted armor, that is what we're going to do next. We have enough Hilarium. I feel very confident with where we are in our research uh, track at the moment. And if we look at our supplies, hell yeah, we're going to buy enhanced shotguns. So we're down to 25 uh, credits, but we got all of the enhanced weapons and we're doing quite well so far. So I am happy about that. We still got Intel for the next mission. So in terms of assigning someone here, how about we're continuing to do legwork? I like that. Even more intel. If you look at the map, there are a couple of things uh, that uh, will go very much in our favor. Can't, uh, well, we could upgrade that. Because we now have level three teams. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Increases our intel income and reduces district uh, unrest automatically every Friday. Well, that's good. Hmm. Actually, considering this, the other option here. <coughs> would be to do the same in Old Town because it's currently the mission. But you know what? I can simply use Vigilance and take off three. So we're more than fine. Probably going to do this here next. A level three um, rank, however, would allow us to um, to gain extra situation rewards. So we can basically grab one of these rewards without uh, ending the day. So that's not bad. I think we should take, uh, take advantage of it. So let's upgrade this here to level three. And that has simply snatched uh, the reward and allows us to additionally contact the scavenger market. But before we do that, I don't want anyone idle. So in terms of training, no training available, no training available, no training available and no training available. We have indeed trained quite well. So let's do basic conditioning then. Because our next team, once we're playing with it, 
um, needs hit points and just already starting with the basic conditioning whilst our main team um, is doing the actual runs is I think a good idea but one thing that we should do is he certainly doesn't need any of these items and she certainly needs a great weapon We don't have enough. We don't have enough um, money to buy additional utility items. That is our shortcoming at the moment. I would probably go for more trank rounds. That's one option. Yeah, but it's 50 each, so I much rather go for mech weaves. Similar cost, but increase the survivability massively. So probably are more up. Um, Enchantments would be the first thing that I'd buy if I was to buy something right now. Good, we're contacting the scavenger market finally. Uh, wait a second, have we double checked everything? So, yes, someone's training. Yes, we're doing legwork. Yes, we're researching. And yes, we do have a proper team. Okay, sure, we can continue. Is this building hello chimera squad i'm the proprietor of the viper's nest a humble establishment in the fringe as i'm sure you know dangerous tech from the advent days still turns up from time to time the city pays well to anyone who turns it over so i hire a network of scavengers to find the stuff oh and i occasionally hear of opportunities that may interest you if I do, I'll be in touch. So the scavenger network is super good because for you can actually get really, really good items. For instance, superior scope, hands down, one of the best weapon modifications. I think it can be a game changer. It's really good. The flat out 15% increase uh, is absolutely fantastic. Now here's the deal. We don't have the intel at the moment. And I still wanted to build up the city further because here's it's almost like do you want to spend it right away and then have easier missions or do you want to invest it over here and benefit from it? Let's let's take this for instance, the field team that we just upgraded. We could have either upgraded the field team or essentially uh, bought uh, the weapon. By upgrading the field team, over time we're going to uh, accumulate way more um, intel so you can see 10 more intel income here and over time uh, once missions are here there's even further intel reward and there's a built-in uh, unrest uh, reduction which you cannot get anywhere else unless you're using your cooldowns right so i guess the point that i'm trying to make with that is it's really a question of how well do we want to manage the city We've never been in anarchy and still the missions are easy enough. If the game would be more difficult, I can see a reason why you definitely want to contact them uh, uh, faster. But since we're not struggling on any of the missions, it's it's uh, there is no reason not to play an economically beneficial game. Okay, over here we got 90 credits. That's not too bad. Over here. We got 55 Intel. 90 credits is actually a bit better than 55 Intel plus. Uh, we get more uh, reduction of unrest that way. Only thing that stinks is we can't upgrade it to get even more out of it. Um, yeah, not too bad. I guess my take on it is we can save the credits in order to at some point get mastercrafted armor that's very expensive though so we need to save a lot of credits or we are um, buying armor upgrades like individual armor upgrades dodge upgrades to make um, it better for our agents 
I can see either way being uh, fine. For now, let's freeze this here, meaning there is not going to be an increase. And we're just uh, going to do the Black Hat Crackdown next. But that's happening in the next mission. Half an hour is over and we're at the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button and leave a friendly comment down below. I always uh, like to engage with you. See you in the next mission and bye-bye.